Now, I'm not going to do this kneeling on the floor with him because I, if something goes wrong, he's uncomfortable, I don't want to be in that vulnerable position. So I'm always going to do it sitting on a chair or standing up. And I'm never going to be over him like that because that's just going to be too intimidating and he's already uncomfortable and I want to practice each different session I'm going to use a different hand and a different approach so sometimes I might come this way sometimes I might go that way sometimes I might go that way over his head but for right now I just want to teach him that me reaching over around his head towards his neck means good things are going to happen because two rewards happen the first one is if he gets a little bit of this stuff and the second one is is I only go as far as he's comfortable You can see him still watching me. <laughs> He's very dainty. <laughs> He's very gentle. And what I want to see is before I go closer, I want to see him less kind of tracking of my hand. So he's happier for me to go there a little bit further that time. So you can see him following me less now, I can go a little bit closer. And when I actually touched his hair, you could see him duck there a little bit, got too close. <clears throat> I touched your ear because you moved. So I can touch him this time. And you eat it twice. So good, at it twice. Put in your coat, save for later. And that, that change of him, will he keep that in as a, you know, every progress, a bit of progress in nature, that's good day question. when you go back. Right. So at the beginning, we have to go right back to the beginning each time and build. And we need, because if you think about it, right, imagine this, his trust in you in terms of what happens when his collar is grabbed. And the thing is, it doesn't matter if nothing bad has ever happened. Mm -hmm. Lots of dogs are uncomfortable with having their collar taken because they associate it with being restrained, with not being able to go where they want to go, with being worried about what's going to happen to them next. They might even associate it with that frustration they feel when um but when it's they, mainly going for the walk he really wants to go for the walk sure yeah it's just this business of the car yeah know? and i'm going to show you stuff that we can do with his lead as well in the same vein so you'll see now i'm going to touch his collar for a longer period of time i don't know where it is it's in the hair somewhere <laughs> i'm touching where i think it might be okay i can just feel hair very significant you know good job so i want him to have Thousands and thousands and thousands of good. <laughs> There's a lot of hair, and of course, he has a fluffy mane, don't you? Huh? You can see a difference in the sense that he's not usually spurring left or right. To exactly, and look at him lying down over on one hip. He feels comfortable with me enough. I'm kind of having to bend over him a little bit because, um, mm -hmm. because you know, just to reach. And so, if he looks up like that, I'm immediately I'm listening to him all the time. So back and still gave him the treat because it doesn't matter what he does it's that my hand movement makes hot dog appear mm -hmm. that's what we want him to learn so he's learning that hands coming towards him makes this good stuff happen okay so he's developing a new association with that and i'm not going to trick him i'm not going to try and grab it when he's not looking i'm going to wait and i'm going to say are you ready to go so i'm asking him now there i am so that's the first time I've really been able to take his collar this whole session without having him trying to mouth or, you know, just to try and get away from me. Good job. He's going to be as fat as a fool. Yeah, he? so that's exactly why we have some emphasis on using his, his own food for a lot of training. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh yeah. Because, um, and you can see him, sometimes it'll go back a few steps so you see him getting comfortable again. So I'm just going to go back again then and I'm always listening to Balto. 